Well, we've had quite a few tests, performance and endurance, and uh, that started actually the Monday after Sebring, so you know, one complete day after the race. Unfortunately, that was cut short due to an incident. Uh, but then part of the consistent program was to have those performance, as in make the car go faster, and the endurance tests as well. Most of them have been done in France at Paul Ricard. The nature of the circuit is that it's got a very, very long straight, which is close to here. Uh, it's got quite fast corners as well, and the odd slow ones, so the variety of tracks. Plus also something that is not necessarily thought of before. You can run through the night. There's not many places now in Europe especially that have allowed the noise through the night. Everybody's got noise regulation. And so it's a, as much as it's a part of uh, you know, street cars, it's also a part of uh, the racing program as well that we've got to work to that. The endurance tests basically have been hampered a little bit by the weather. But most of them have had rain come and go at some point and if you're doing an endurance test you need to have as much punishment to the car as possible and uh, that meant when it was wet yes you get a lot of data but not necessarily the complete data but our final endurance test was 38 degrees celsius hot at i don't know in fahrenheit but i'll tell you it's hot and uh, we completed not just 24 hours but uh, 30 hours uh, because you, you need to have that little bit of safety margin. You know, you need to prove the reliability of the product as well as the performance. And so, as I sit here now, with a couple of days before the actual race, I feel pretty comfortable that we've done all the homework with the R15 TDI to achieve uh, the reliability and performance we need.